everybody, my name is Luke Moore and this is Hot Love Mode. And today on Hot Love Mode, we are going to be reacting to Nicki Minaj's collab with Fendi, AKA the Fendi Prince On collection. Now, before we get any further into the video, I probably should like address this top. I don't know, I'm trying to like up the game. I'm trying to like be a little bit different. I feel like I'm giving you like a cute one shoulder like Ludovic de Sincern in knockoff moment. That's what I'm giving. Before we get any further into the video though, if you guys are looking for a channel that talks about fashion in the most fun, sassy, bitchy, analytical way this is it, you can go down below, hit the subscribe button and turn on my post notifications. I mean like what's you have to lose, you're already here. And if you guys want to see more from me, you can follow me on Instagram at Hot Limote. I post some pretty pop and fashion memes me Instagram stories always have the best fashion news and gossip. And if you want to see even more from me, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Hot Lamess. I post some of my more personal opinions and outfits, so enjoy. Like this beautiful top. And if you guys want to shop things like this gorgeous top, you can check me out on Depop as well, because I'm going to be wearing a lot more stuff that I'm going to sell on Depop on here so you can shop the looks if you want to do so. Honestly, this like one shoulder thing is kind of liberating. You know what I mean? Like it really is. Like I feel like a different human. So anyway, let's talk about this whole Nicki Minaj Fendi collaboration. I've kind of alluded to it in other videos, but I feel like it needed a whole dedicated video you know, just to get it out there. And considering that the collection was released on the 14th of October, now is the perfect time to discuss. So if you guys don't know, Nicki Minaj is one of the premier rappers in the music scene. With hits like Super Bass to Megatron, she has really cemented herself as a music legend. But when it was announced that she would be doing a collaboration with the luxury house Fendi, who is known for its luxury furs and leathers, which was previously under the care of Karl Lagerfeld. I'll be honest, I was a bit shocked. Now, I wasn't exactly shocked about the whole celebrity factor. I mean, under LVMH, which is the conglomerate and parent company of Fendi, other big luxury houses like Givenchy have worked with Ariana Grande, and LVMH has actually given Rihanna her own luxury label called Fenty. So it's not that big of a stretch that Nicki would be working with a big house like this. But I do think the sheer size of this collaboration, which is 127 pieces in both men's, women's, and children's clothing, and accessories is a bit much, no? Like that's a lot of pieces. Honestly, it just seems big. The other thing is the price point is not cheap at all. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be like Zara pricing, but I also didn't expect such a big capsule collection from a non-designer. So just a little backstory on the whole Nicki Minaj Fendi Prince on collaboration. It originally started to come to fruition when Nicki unintentionally wrapped the lyrics Fendi Prince on for her album and song Chun Li. And then when she wore a beautiful Fendi fur bomber and matching vintage bikini bottom, it kind of cemented the whole Fendi collaboration in not only Nikki's mind, but in the mind of the company. It's also interesting to note that Nikki did work on a cover of Elle magazine with Karl Lagerfeld, who actually shot the cover image and editorial spread for Nikki. From what I understand, it was their first time sort of meeting and like working together, but Nikki said that she really, really enjoyed Karl and said that he was less serious than she originally thought. The current creative director of the brand, Sylvia Venturini Fendi, who is the granddaughter of the founders, Eduardo and Adele Fendi, and also was a close collaborator of Karl Lagerfeld himself, said that she felt like Nikki would be the right person for this collaboration. Now, from the interviews I've read, it doesn't exactly seem like Karl Lagerfeld knew the collaboration was happening. They definitely like bring his name up a lot, but nowhere do they ever say like, oh, Carl was really excited about the collaboration. They do say that they were disappointed that he never saw the collaboration come to fruition, but also in reality, that doesn't mean that he actually knew it was going to happen, especially considering he was very, very sick towards the end of his life. Sylvia Venturini Fendi said that she thinks that Nicki Minaj was the perfect person for this collaboration because she mixed very, very feminine codes with the idea of a strong, successful woman. And she felt like she wanted that to be the Fendi woman for this collaboration. Now, from the interview I've read, it doesn't really seem like Karl Lagerfeld knew that the collaboration was going to be happening. They definitely bring up Carl a lot, and they especially talk about the L shoot where Nikki says that he was supportive of the shoot, not exactly a collaboration. And the way that they also word it is that they wanted Carl to see the collaboration come to fruition, but that doesn't exactly mean that Carl knew it was ever going to happen. 
Honestly, I'm not super sure if Carl knew about it or approved it, cause the wording does make me feel a bit iffy about it. The collection also has really been strong in terms of plus size women and really, really wanting to be about women loving their bodies and men as well. Nikki is notoriously curvy. So she really wanted women to not be afraid of their bodies, but to embrace them and flaunt them and show them off. She also said she wanted the clothing to be accessible, but at that price point, it really truly is very hard for it to be accessible. She spoke about how she wanted this to be something that she would have wore when she was growing up in Jamaica, Queens, and how she wanted it to be something that her audience could save up for. But like an $800 shirt, Listen, I like Nikki, but no, absolutely fucking not. I mean, again, it's Fendi. I wasn't expecting affordable, but also like, let's not say it's so accessible, yada yada. And I mean, honestly, are we expecting that if Nikki's fans can't actually afford the collection that the Fendi customer will just pick up the rest of the collab? Honestly, I don't know. But let's get into looking into the collection finally, because I feel like it's very important. You know, it's a whole part. All right, now let's get into the whole collaboration collection. Let's see what's going on in the world of Fendi prints on. So it definitely is on the front page. It seems like they're really, really trying to push it. So, you know, that's important. Nikki was shot by Steven Klein, I believe, in a back lot somewhere on like the, the Warner Brothers stage. So let's look at the men's collection first. I feel like the women's will get into that. Oh God. Now, when I'm looking at the pricing again, like it is very, very expensive, which I was expecting, but like not from a Nicki Minaj collab. So there's a t-shirt priced at $890, which is crazy. So it's a cotton t-shirt. It comes in quite a wide range of sizes, which I wasn't exactly expecting, but like, God. Okay, so the front is like a t-shirt with Nicki's face and her big hoop earrings, which I believe that she wore for the Chun-Li cover art. Yes. So it definitely is a mirror image of the big, you know, gold earrings that she wore. But on the back, it says like Fendi prints on. And I'm like, Fendi prints off. Let's not put that on the back. Thank you. A lot of silver. There are belt bags with the Fendi monogram. It's a lot of the Fendi monogram, which like, you know, it, it is definitely basic, but I, I'm just shocked at how much the t-shirts cost. $890, Jesus Christ. Lots of silver. I like the glasses, I will say. I don't know if Fendi already makes these glasses, but I do really, really like them. I think that the reflective little rainbow is really, really cute. I think the Fendi logo on there is like fine. The other thing, I made a whole video about the whole Fendi logo a while back. And I mean, like, I think I've grown to like the Fendi logo a lot more, but still, like, obviously they're really trying to like get a cash grab out of this whole situation. So there's, you know, a collar shirt with the Fendi logo. There's a tie with Nicki Minaj's face on it for $220. Yeah, wow. Okay, so there's not that much stuff. It's a lot of silver Fendi monogram, which Karl Lagerfeld invented and, you know, puffer coats, track suits, you know, hoodies with Nicki's face on it. Like it's really nothing special or crazy. It's not really that interesting. I kind of would expect a lot more you know, design wise, but I guess that they're really trying to just get it sold. It seems, it doesn't seem like they're really trying to be super creative or over the top. So that's interesting. Um, but I guess men's usually is a lot more commercial than women's. So let's get into the women's, which I feel like is really the important part. And I feel like this first dress is great. Let's look at it. It is a Lycra Fendi monogram, you know, sort of tube dress. It definitely looks stretchy. It looks like it's gonna fit any type of woman. Let's see the sizing. Now, the most interesting part about this is the sizing. Now, if you go to any other, you know, collaborative collection, so if it's Givenchy, if it's Louis Vuitton, if even Fenty, the sizing for LVMH on the websites usually only goes up to size 46 European or European size 46. If you know, you like reciprocals. The thing is, Nikki's collaborative collection goes up to size 52 in the European sizing, which is quite big. It's a size 16. And I think that honestly, it's one of the first times I've ever seen LVMH or a big luxury house really go for like just normalizing bigger bodies, which I feel like is really, really great. And I'm kind of happy that it's actually done because I feel like everybody talks about it, but we don't often see that. Do I wish that the models were a bit more curvaceous? 
definitely, because that can be kind of weird that they're not super like, you know, the woman that Nikki was talking about. Um, I'm also interested in the fact that all of the clothing, it seems, or a lot of the clothing is only able to be bought in store and not online. The shoes are, you know, I guess the heels are okay. They're like a quilted um, Fendi monogram, lots of silver. The Fendi earrings that Nikki wore in silver are there, you know, a, a little baguette designed by Nikki. But again, it's like, yes, it's pink and it has the Fendi monogram, but I feel like I wish we could see more of like Nikki in it. I just feel like it's a lot of Fendi product and like a t-shirt with Nikki's face on it. And I just feel like I wish there was a bit more design or a bit more like, referencing or things for her fans to really be like, oh my God, like that's so Nikki. You know what I mean? I feel like there should be like a lot smarter little, you know, references or little hints that, oh, this is Nicki Minaj for Fendi. And I feel like that's what all celebrities should be doing. If you're going to be doing a collaborative collection, make it smart, make it fun, make it something that your audience could not just buy anywhere else. Cause honestly, I feel like you could go into a Fendi boutique and buy any of this stuff at any point. Listen, that uh, that one shoulder knit dress, honestly feeling my life. I feel like I came prepared. Somebody from the Fendi team or Nikki's team, uh, run me that dress, yo. I'll take a size 12 or 14, in case anybody's asking. Nobody's gonna ask, nobody's asking. There are some moon boots with the Fendi logo, you know, a little Fendi peekaboo bag, a hoodie, $1,200 for a hoodie with Nikki's face on it, huh? Here's the thing, like those t-shirts should be a lot, lot, lot cheaper. I understand that it's Fendi and I understand it's a luxury house, but like, what? No, let's see if it's sold out, like if there's anything going on. Okay, so this hoodie is almost all in boutique, so it's like you can't even really, you know, get to it. Again, I really do like these sunglasses. I think they're very, very smart. I think they're very, very chic. I feel like they're a good entry price point. Bikinis, visors, t-shirts. Let's look at the t-shirts again. It doesn't seem like anything is also like really sold out though, which is interesting. But again, at that price point, I wouldn't really expect it to sell out whatsoever. You know, belts, socks, $220 for a fucking sock. I thought Rick Owens like $90 socks were intense, but damn. 220, uh, my feet feel poor. Those sneakers are vile with Nikki's face. Oh God, those are, those are rough. Yeah, this is probably one of the worst pieces in that whole collection. It's just cause it's like, ooh, like it's the, it's a Fendi monogram. It's like boring. The design of said sneaker is like vile. They're like ugly Jordans. And then they have like Nikki's Fendi collab face on them, which is weird, very weird. Uh, sweater dress. Oh, $1,800 for a sweater dress, Jesus Christ. I mean like, listen, again, I'm not shocked by the price point of like Fendi. I'm shocked by the price point of like Fendi putting Nikki's fucking face on a sweatshirt and selling it for that much. Jesus. Okay, there's a cutout dress. Doesn't really look that interesting. Fendi bag and the silver. Baseball hat, track suit. I, I think the uh, Fendi earrings are iconic and I wonder if they would sell out. Find in store. Okay, so you have to find them in store, that's rough. A shopper bag, some more swimsuits, knee high socks. Oh my God, the knee high socks at $350, Jesus Christ. It's not that much more fabric, people. There's a $11,000 Fendi shearling jacket wow okay i'm just like very interested in like whether or not this shit is gonna sell because i honestly honest to god feel like it is not i i feel like the Nicki minaj fans a are like not that old like they can't be that old that they have like fendi money and also like if my kid came to me and was like yo can i buy this like fendi outfit by Nicki minaj it'd be like well you get a smack in the face because like taste buds. I thought you inherited my DNA, had some. And also like, no, $10,000 for a fucking jacket. Are you kidding? That's like not interestingly designed. I just think the price point is crazy. I think it really, really is crazy. And like where, so like there are dresses in here that I saw that looked like sort of interesting. They're like these, you know, those chain mail -y sort of dresses. There, you saw it. You see the little blips of it. Where is that? I'm wondering. I don't see any of that. I, I would like to see that. 
you know what I mean? At least it would like have some interesting layering capabilities. At least like an influencer could wear it and it wouldn't be super awkward and weird because it's like, oh my God, you're wearing Nicki Minaj's collaboration collection by Fendi. I don't know. It just seems very, very strange. So I guess that's the end of the video. Honestly, I think this could have been a lot better. I think that it, it had a lot of potential actually, and I think it had a lot of amazing ways to make it simple, referential, sort of collector's item, sort of really this like high-end collaborative luxury. And I feel like maybe there's like three or four pieces in there that, you know, will stand the test of time. The earrings with the Fendi logos, cause that Chun-Li reference. And then like, they didn't even recreate any of like light brown, dark brown Fendi monogram you know, bomber jacket that she wore in the Chun-Li video. I don't know, I just feel like this is very strange and like, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it could have been so much stronger. And I and I guess I shouldn't expect that from celebrities now because we're at the point where it's like, Luke, stop expecting these celebrities to actually like be designers when they're not. But I just feel like they have teams of people that like should be really trying to like make this super smart and interesting and one of a kind and like wonderful. And that's not happening. And I need to know why that's not happening. Is it just because all they want to do is sell clothes and be commercial and like make money or is it they actually like care about their fans and actually really want to like make these collectors items that are super interesting and you know documentable and you know will go into a museum one day i feel like i'm always looking for the latter of the two whereas these companies are looking to really just like sell and make their money which like i get as well but also i need a bit more balance from everybody in terms of these things so i'd love to know all of your guys's opinions in the comments down below this is like not a hate video at all but i'd love to hear even like a little nikki stands in in the comments like go off i'd love to really know your guys's opinions obviously this is who this is targeted to it's targeted towards all of you so let me know what you think please again thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys on the next video and ttyl